So what are some things that, you know, that you can do uh, when you're in that spot? If you're listening right now, you're like, hey, yeah, I'm I'm struggling, you know, and I'm expecting to fail and I'm, you know, I'm not sleeping at night. I've got worry and, and panic and fear in my head more than hope and belief and mm-hmm. strategy. What are some, some things people could do uh, could do about it? Make sure that you don't try to fix everything all in one go. Sometimes decisions uh, are change is difficult and it requires incremental change. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we have to make building a habit. You have to make it fun. You have to make it uh, attainable. And so the way that's worked out in my life is many times I would say, OK, I, you know, whatever the lack of discipline is, I'm going to go to the opposite extreme, do the New Year's resolution. And tomorrow we are starting a new life yeah. like it's <laughs> <laughs> no more failure. We are going to be successful. And it's yeah. not that way. Right. No. Drew? I mean, it, no. it's. It takes sometimes, a long time to unwind. Yeah, it stuff. does. I mean, and, and really celebrate minor wins, minor successes and say, OK, there's this one thing I can change yep. today. Yeah. And it's not about it's not we don't rely on anybody else for it. It's something we know we can we can own something we can we can really control something yep. that we can do today. And it's something that really that's uh, manageable. Yep. And uh, and not focus on all the other things. Yeah. Just one thing at a time, one positive decision, one healthy decision at a time. And yeah. suddenly they start to add up. Yeah. And I think it is start small normally. And I think the thing, too, is you got to build confidence in your belief to change. Right. And I think sometimes you start believing in always and never. So I'll never and I'll always as opposed to like, wait a minute, I'm going to make one change th- today, this week. Create one habit, one mm-hmm. discipline, a simple thing. What happens is you start to make commitments to the person in the mirror. Right. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, hey, I said I was going to do this thing and I did it. Mm-hmm. And you build brick by brick by brick on that sort of thing. And it could be really small things, but you begin to build a confidence, understand like, wait a minute, no, I can change my life. I can lay another brick of change today, yeah. you know, or next week. And yeah, not having to completely change who you are overnight right. because you, you know, got inspired on a late night. And podcast. a big pitfall we want to avoid in all this, and I've fallen into it at times, is looking around us at all of the reasons why we're failing outside of what we can mm-hmm. control. Yeah. And it's just if we just had better employees. I mean, that you just didn't screw up yesterday. I mean, there's blame all around us. We can yeah. blame people. And instead of just owning problems and saying, okay, I yeah. could be a better leader. And that's what it's all about, right? Yep. Being healthier people. Uh, so we can be better leaders. Yep. It starts with us personally, how we can lead our families and how we can lead our teams. Yeah. And, and I think it's catchy. Suddenly you have a team that's saying, wow, the boss is really, he's a healthy person. Like he, he's on it. Mm hmm. That that communicates excitement yeah. and vision to people. Whereas if you're yeah. the person just always blaming, always yelling, always, yep. always, uh, you know, uh, taking shortcuts, procrastinating. Yeah. You can't get by it. Yeah. It rolls downhill. Yep. You know, uh, like it or not, every organization takes on the personality of a senior leader. Good. Pro- the pros and the cons of that. 